What is going on everyone, Bill Zebra here, some fire cons on the Fire 18 channel. Today's video everyone, we're gonna be doing roster update predictions for 625. So we got some new players who are breaking out right now, new players who are hitting the ball hard, and new players who deserve an upgrade. So without further ado, let's talk about all the bronzes that are going up. So for the first pick we have here, it is Kyle Schwarber. Now you may be thinking, man, this guy is such a terrible hitter. This guy, he doesn't really, he only hits one side well. Well, let's talk about how he's doing in his last 15 games he's played ever since the last roster update. So he's hit 10 home runs, 20 RBIs, with an average of 302, 371 OBP, and an 868 slugging, which is pretty impressive for your last seven game, 15 games of baseball. His last seven is even better, obviously. So please, invest in Kyle Schwarber. He is going up in price. He's around the 500, 400 sub mark. If he gets some buy orders in at 400, you will make a shot and make it some profit for Kyle Schwarber, who is going up right away to silver. So please, invest in this guy while you can. Next up on our list is an Oriole. His name is Ryan Mountcastle. I really thought he was a pretty good acquisition and pretty good, you know, pretty good guy to upload to his list largely because i always been performing in his last seven games and also his last 15 but i think his last seven really impressed me the most he has three home runs four rbis with a 357 batting average a 357 obp and a 679 slugging which is pretty good i think for a 72 overall i definitely could see this guy possibly getting an upgrade don't don't consider this a surefire upgrade but i definitely think this guy is going to go up a bit i'd still would invest in this guy while you can because pretty soon, maybe in this roster update or the next, he might just be a silver, and he might be more stubs than you could have bought him for. Seriously, guys, invest in him while you can, because he is cheap. Do it. Do it. So for such a stinker team like the D-backs, there haven't been many highlights, you know? There haven't been many highlights this year, I feel like, in terms of people who have been pitching. But I feel like Caleb Smith deserves an upgrade among those stinking trash D-backs. His last two starts, I'm not going to count the 12th because that was literally a Friday, literally when that day came out. Let's talk about what he's been doing in those two games. He pitched six innings equivalently. He only gave up five hits within those two games. He walks a lot of players, so I don't expect a big upgrade in his walk per nine, but a hit per nine upgrade could happen either way. As he's also had 11 strikeouts also in his last two starts and he's only given up one earned run even though he got the loss win loss does not reflect how good a pitcher can be and i really do think him smith considering he's nearly a silver as well he could easily make a one overall push to silver a very solid investment i think on the d-backs especially considering how bad of the year they're having he's a very low-key pick but i still think a very good investment while you're at it so you know what i'm gonna say do it. Get him, man. Do it. Another fellow Oriole player makes the list. I think I said Oriole, not Orioles. Yeah, Oriole player makes the list. So another Orioles player makes the list here. His name is Cedric Mullins. You know, he's just the guy that should be in the All-Star game of a trout, but, you know, that didn't really happen. Let's just talk about why he deserves it. Last 15 games, shall we? He's hit five home runs, 10 RBIs, with five walks, he's also stolen three bases, which proves once again that he could get a speed upgrade. With a three, with a 298 batting average, 379 OBP, and a 649 slugging. 649, yes, that's correct. I'm reading that right, which is very impressive. And he he also has a 918 OPS on the season. But I do think as of right now, this guy should be going up to gold pretty soon with how well he's been hitting. Invest while you can. Make sure you do so because this guy is going to go up even more and you want to make profit, right? Right? Just invest in them. He's like, he's like AMC at this point. So now it's time to give some of the relievers some more spotlight. I love Trevor May as well because he used to be a Minnesota twin. Let's just talk about how he's been performing though ever since the last roster update. So from June 14th through June 22nd, from every game he's played, he hasn't given up a single run or he has, he's given up two runs correction but he hasn't given up many runs is my point ever since june 14th he has not given up a single run in approximately five innings of relief which is really impressive 
And throughout that span, he's had nine strikeouts, nine pretty impressive strikeouts to get him through the year, and he's lowered his ERA from what was 4.57 on June 14th to 3.71, which is quite a dramatic down, uh, you know, upgrade for Trevor May. He's been consistently pitching very well for the Mets. He's also used to be a goal in past years, I think, and he doesn't need much to go up. I also think this guy, when I looked at him last time, he's around 700 stubs on a buy order, so you could still make your profits while you can. You could still buy him. He's doing really well right now, and I think he's a surefire upgrade for gold. Get him right now. Invest while you can. Another pitcher from the AL East that's going to get an upgrade is probably Sandy Alcantara. Personally, I like the card a lot as a silver, but I do think he could also go up to gold with how he's, well he's been performing. So in his last two starts, ever since the roster update, he's pitched around 16.1 innings. Yes, he's had to throw a lot. He's only given up 11 hits, only given up one earned run, and he's also had 10 strikeouts. But the point I'm trying to make is that he's been pitching at a really good rate where he isn't giving up many runs, and I do think that there's potential here to go up with how well he's been playing. He is only around 600, 700 stubs on the buy order, so I do think he still will get a 300, 400 stub, stub profit. And if you own him already, well, great. You can sell those duplicates as well, and you'll get a little profit off that gold upgrade that you will see Sandy Alcantara getting as well. I think he can do very well in this roster update. I could see him going up to gold, especially considering the lack of golds there will be, and considering just how possible Starling Marte will go up to diamond. So, I definitely think you guys should give a look at him and maybe think about investing in him. Ah, so we're finally going to the diamond rounds here, eh? Gold to diamond. We're starting off with the AOS Astros who are heating up right now, Carlos Correa. This guy was a diamond in the past. This guy always had a tremendous last three years with the Houston Astros, other than a very abysmal 2010, I'd say he's been mostly terrific. He's been mostly a terrific hitter. He's still really young. He's still only 26. He hasn't even entered his prime. But the point I'm really trying to make is that he's just been impressive in his last 15 games. He's hit four home runs, 11 RBIs, with issuing 11 walks. He has had a lot of strikeouts, but, you know, it's expected with most hitters, I'd say. You'd have to be really talented to not strike out a lot. But his average in OBP and slugging have been 375, 485, 696 respectively, leading to a pretty o pretty OPS, I'd say. You know, I'd say it's a pretty pretty high OPS. So I definitely think he could easily get the push up to Diamond with how well he's been playing. He also is an 84 overall, which also I think boosts his odds because he's like on the borderline Diamond level. And he was a Diamond in the past, and SDS does love Correa. This is why I could see this guy going up to Diamond instantly even though he is on the Astros after all. Next up on the list is Jose Altuve. He's been doing impressive as well in his last 15 games, getting eight home runs, 14 RBIs with 11 walks. 274 batting average is the only downside of those last 15, but he also has had a 378 OBP and a 694 slugging, which even bests his last seven games. So I'd easily argue that Jose Altuve is a guy worth investing in. Considering he's two overalls below diamond, it could be risky, but I still think it could also happen as well with how well he's been hitting. And he's also a fellow Astro, so maybe we'll get two Diamond Astros, although I feel like it's gonna be one or the other. I think Carlos Correa may be the surefire investment, but still, keep an eye on Jose Altuve for this roster update. Definitely keep an eye on him. Not a surefire investment though. Come on guys, did you really think I was gonna put the Japanese phenomenon not on this list? I'm gonna put him on here, man. He's been terrific, like seriously. Let's talk about how well he's been hitting his last 15 games, and then let's talk about his pitching. First, his hitting. Last 15 games, he's hit 7 home runs, 12 RBIs, with 304 average, 429 OBP, and a whopping 826 slugging, which easily has made his hitting stats one to watch this year. I can even toggle the attributes right now. I can even toggle the attributes. His hitting is going to go up. I have a feeling it's going to go up a lot. His pitching might also get a little bit of an increase as well, which does, I think, improve his chances even more of going to Diamond. And considering they only have one Diamond in Mike Trout, I feel like Otani might also get that boost as well. Very likely, but, you know, stranger things have happened. But I'm now going to talk about his pitching. So, from 617 to 623, those were the last times he's pitched for the team. He's only given up two earned runs in that span in 12 innings, 
issuing 14 strikeouts, only allowing three walks in that span. I could easily see this guy's K per nine going a little bit up. And yeah, I mean, that's all I really got to say about Otani. He's been terrific. He's been awesome. He's been killing it. And he's going to go up to Diamond. Almost no doubt about it. So some guys that made the honorable mention lists are, once again, Chris Bryant. I do think Jared Walsh has a shot of going Diamond, but I feel like because of his history and his past three years, I don't really see it happening. Although I think he definitely thinks he deserves it. So, so Jared Walsh, he's pretty much an honorable mention. Nothing more, nothing really less. And Chris Bryant is going to always stay on this list. And those pretty much are going to be my honorable mentions for who's going up and who's going down. Actually, I don't do who's going down. I always do who's going up because I want you guys to make stubs. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for today's vid. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe for your new. This is the last vid before I head out, I guess. So make, make sure you enjoy it. You'll see me in my next vid or stream probably sometime in August. We'll see, though. Maybe something will, some surprising will happen. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Go follow my socials and join my Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take care, everyone. Peace!